Hello, I'm Johnny Engineer, Google for Anti-Poverty Engineer, and you'll get me, and I'm going to talk about polling today out of this book, Yes, Prime Minister. <laughs> Bernard, we have a problem. Who has? You and I, Bernard, and the whole of Whitehall. The problem is the Prime Minister's disastrous new defence ideas. Cancelling Trident, reintroducing conscription, and all that rubbish. Ah, he's going to say something new and radical in the broadcast. What, that silly grand design? Bernard, that was precisely what you had to avoid. How did this come about? I shall need a very good explanation. Well, he's very keen on it. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> Things don't happen just because Prime Ministers are very keen on them. Neville Chamberlain was very keen on peace. <laughs> He, he, thinks, he thinks it's a vote winner. Ah, that's more serious to done. What makes him think that? Well, the party who had an opinion poll done, it seems all the voters are in favour of bringing back national service. Well, I have another opinion poll done showing the voters are against bringing back national service. <laughs> well, we can't be for it and oh, against Of course it. they can, Bernard. Have you ever been surveyed? Yes. Well, not me, actually. My house. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> well, Bernard, you know what happens. Nice young lady comes up to you. Obviously, you want to create a good impression. You don't want to look a fool, do you? <laughs> no. No, so she starts asking you some questions. Mr. Woolley, are you worried about the number of young people without jobs? Yes. Are you worried about the rise in crime among teenagers? Yes. Do you think there's a lack of discipline in our comprehensive schools? Yes. Do you think young people welcome some authority and leadership in their lives? Yes. Do you think they respond to a challenge? Yes. Would you be in favour of reintroducing national service? <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I might. Yes or no? Yes. Of course you would, Bernard. After all you've told you, you can't say no to that. <laughs> so, they don't mention the first five questions and they publish the last one. Is that really what they do? Well, not the reputable ones, no, but there aren't many of those. <laughs> so, alternatively, the young lady can get the opposite result. How? Mr Woolley, are you worried about the danger of war? Yes. Are you worried about the growth of armaments? Yes. Do you think there's a danger in giving young people guns and teaching them how to kill? Yes. Do you think it's wrong to force people to take up arms against their will? Yes. Would you oppose the reintroduction of national service? Yes. <laughs> there you are, you see, Bernard. The perfect balanced sample. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The whole series is like that. Both books are like that. An investment in time, I'd advise anyone. So that's how they can cheat with polls. They can exaggerate things. You only find out the end results. So that's why you have to take polls with a real grain of salt and try and keep track of the guys who were really, really off because they were probably paid to do that. So that's the best explanation of how fixing polls can happen, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.